here's an old one for you guys 77 Beetle Volkswagen Beetle uh, brake adjustment you've got the little peep holes here so you can look at the shoes or at least part of the shoe you can see the air gap here um, so you can sort of uh, determine what kind of brake light you have left on the shoe but since you're only seeing a small portion of the shoe uh, it's only a uh, partial indicator of how the brakes are but anyways here are the adjusting wheels and so you can see there's lots of uh, free movement of the wheel uh, but the pedal feels a little soft so in order to get better pedal feel you adjust the shoes so that you get rid of that gap and it's just starting to drag now so you just adjust it until you get a bit of a drag and that's it you can see the wheel is still free but any further adjustment will, will cause the wheel to, to lock and that's obviously too tight so you just want to get a little bit of contact that's it same on this side you just have to remember which way to turn it that's too tight a little bit back that's good and that'll greatly improve uh, brake pedal feel yeah, that's nice and free I already did this one that's all good too same thing on the front this one's missing some of the plugs no big deal you can see how easily the wheel moves so then you just adjust this one's already adjusted to where it should be go back sometimes these adjusters seize up so you need to free them up and I usually just use a, a punch and hammer to get it to rotate ideally you want to take it all apart and put anti-seize on them so this one's also getting to the tight spot And again, you don't want to have too much drag. Otherwise the brakes get hot. That's good. And the last one already feels good. Take a quick look at the brakes. You see somebody put anti-seize on them, that's, that's good. Gonna loosen it up a little bit, and so that's looser. Now we go it a bit tighter. Some of the angles are not that great. So you, just, you can also go until it's tight and then back off three, three teeth. One, two, three. Same thing on this one. Turn until it's tight or fairly tight. And then one, two, three. Still a little on the loose side. Yeah. Somewhere on there. That's it. If one wheel grabs before the other, the car will start pulling in that direction. Keep that in mind. That can also help you diagnose which brakes are doing more of the work. If the car pulls to the right, the right side is grabbing more. Thanks for watching.